Rugby league's been a massive part of my life over the past three decades as a player, a coach, and a commissioner. During that period, I've learned so much about teamwork, leadership, and motivation. And my burning desire nowadays is to share this information with as many people as possible to help them improve their careers and their life in general. Leadership is not management. Leadership is about taking your people on a journey into the future, whereas management is about getting results in the here and now. Good bosses are able to blend both leadership and management together to get effective outcomes for the company. But the reality is that most rookie bosses get promoted into a leadership role without any prior leadership training. Understandably, they lack an awareness of what this leadership stuff is all about. But the irony is that in a rapidly changing world, we need leaders more than ever. I've studied, applied and refined a set of leadership skills that I know can make a difference to your organisation. Why is it that as babies we're born into this world with incredible potential? But as we grow up, we tend to get bogged down with the daily struggle of life. I know what that's like because at the age of 14 when my dad died, I quit on myself. But I was lucky, an incredible mentor came into my life that helped me turn it all around. And I took control of my destiny and have never looked back. I'd love to share some of these secrets with you. In today's pacey workplace, teamwork can make or break your business. It doesn't matter whether we're talking about the corporate world or sport, the same teamwork fundamentals apply. And at the core of any high-performing team is a strong foundation of trust. Many bosses don't get this, and if they do, they don't know where to start. I've got a proven formula that works, and I'd love to show you how I can make a measurable and sustainable difference to your team. In over 30 years of research into performance training, I've come across many different tools and techniques. If there's one that stands head and shoulders above all else, it's called process communication. It's about understanding yourself, but also understanding what makes others tick so that you can get the true outcomes in your life that you're looking for. Process communication is so good that I spent 12 months getting accredited as a trainer. And I run workshops for educators, for parents, and for organisations. So why not come along and join me and find out how it can change your life.